NI. Who's on this team? Anyone good? Uh, nobody. Alright, so before we get right into this one, hopefully we don't miss first blood. I'm just going to check. This is the round of 512. Put that in title 2. Alright. And no one's... Don't die while I just... Don't don't you do it, Bone 7! Yeah, that's right, you don't die. Alright, we'll adjust this. Okay, we're back in. We'll get our last hits going. So, it looks like... Mr. KP's... They went for the Nature's Prophet, and that's going to be on Keanu. He's their typical offlane player. They've done a safe lane Batrider. They've gone for the Omnid again, something they love to have picked up, was banned several times against them in the first phase yesterday. And then the Invoker mid for Cancel, of course, his number one hero, at least as of late. Definitely the one he's been spamming the most. Oh, top lane. Sunstrike coming through. Not going to connect this time. They've been on point with those lately, but not going to happen right now. Oh, this Venno, how's he doing? He's going the... Oh, that is a really weird logo. I think. Either way. Oh, oh! <laughs> Cancel, please. And these lanes are... This could, like, die so quickly. <laughs> Down here. A couple nukes, you know, Soul Rev, Tombstone. And just run each other's face. By the way, uh, he's going for the Max Wards build. Okay, I wasn't sure. The more typical... Oh, you son of... Okay, good. He's just denying himself, guys. Everybody just, everybody just stop freaking out. It's bottom lane where we're going to see the first blood. It's going to be somebody. It looks like it will be the Necropose. He tries to get the fairy fire. He does go down first, but now both of them very low on the radiant side. Someone TPing in. It is mad because goes the wrong way to the side. He's going to find the courier as they walk out of the town, but man misses it. Oh, no. Oh, man, no. What? It was in your face. <laughs> I don't think you can see it. I think, have cosmetics gone too far, guys? I don't know. I don't know. That was... That, that's unfortunate. That, that would have been big. That would have been a big deal. In terms of Cancel's favorite hero? Yeah, I know, I know it's definitely Tinker. He loves that guy. Not good enough for, uh, for right now, though. It's a hero, it would seem. Alright, they're going for the behind the tower ward, so the aggression's not going to be letting up anytime here. Anytime soon here, rather. So, Bone7, he's gone into the jungle. Just doing some napalm stacks. Going to be Firefly, doing his thing. Going to give me some levels to buff me and 7. 7 mad, aka fucking mad, aka mad. Alright, well, here's that tombstone. 2 man decay, and they're just going to be happy with that. Looks like they should be able to finish off the tower here. That bonus damage on Tyrion dying. Why do they have Venom mid? Venom mid, it's pretty common. I don't think there's a Riku's attempt here by Mad. Generally, you draft them when you want like uh, an early either Aghanims or sometimes teams will go blink into Aghanims. Some teams will do the Veil. There's a couple different options. Some teams do the Mech. Uh, he's uses like a Mech carrier. That'll probably be Necropost this game, but... Generally, uh, it's used as lane dominator. However, with Forge Spirits and like new Invoker and this alacrity stuff, even with the nerf, plus it's cancelled, so I'm sure this guy's just getting dumpstered because of that. He's not having a very good time. Bone 7, he's coming. He's got the Firefly in one more second. I'm gonna bring in the TP from Keanu as well, so this is a little bit of a turnaround here. One Napalm stack going out on top. Oh, he turns for a moment though, and that's what you want to do with that Napalm on top of you. And now, plenty of time, only half duration of the Firefly used up. Sunstrike comes through, nicely done. And hey, you're gonna burn the path open, but it doesn't matter. Bone 7 gets himself a double kill, three heroes down. And meanwhile, Juggernaut, he did get a little bit of space here, so he'll get his six. A little bit dangerous if Keanu wants to come back up top, but. Pretty scary. Buffney is just out here, man. He does not care. This is this is really risky. If he dies to this, he's gonna be like forever shamed when he dies. Is he Buffney? 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 Yeah, you're dead. Oh my god. 
<laughs> like, what are you doing? Maybe he's just like, why would they bring three heroes back down to this lane? Well, they did, so... <laughs> Either way, very quick uh, net worth lead here. <laughs> of the radiant core heroes. Uh, mostly due to these last hits. Uh, clearly, it's not much to imagine these guys are very outmatched. I mean, they're playing against a real team. These guys are scrimming stuff. Let's see. Let's start doing the little thing here. We'll see if that... Maybe Veno's about to die, though. No, he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, there we go. 3.3k. Oh, TP in. Veno died. We caught it. It counts. It's okay. I know you guys just want to fiend their MMRs anyway. So the only guy showing is 3.3k, so therefore we can deduce that he is the highest MMR. Because only the highest MMR out of his friends would be showing the MMR because he's proud of it. So, basically, KP's playing against, like, a 3k stack. That's what we're going to go with. Yeah, well, the push continues. They've got one tower. So, basically, what I'm saying is that KP lost a tower to a 3k stack. I mean, that's just embarrassing, guys. Ansel's playing this like he's still in the mid lane. Like he, he's playing like it's the laning stage, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's just at the tier two laning as if normal he's at the tier one. Well, they're not uh not much to do up here. Not much you can do. He's getting bullied. Where's their sentries? They got one down here, or rather observers. Oh, they're gonna find bone. Cask, lucky bounce, lucky bounce, you got it! You got the lucky bounce! Oh, oh, can they get a boat center? Are you going to feed your way to the three Ks? Lasso, up through the burn, a little bit more on the high ground, sun strike, knock me enough damage to the soul rip, plus the heals coming out, and the heals from the witch doctor, two stacks on top, bones that we're going to find out, he gets Gailed, he goes down to the mid Veno. Now Buffney, in trouble, he's on the run, but now he comes to Ninja's Prophet, looking for the spell. oh, that was a big ultimate, doing lots of damage here, Buffney. And he's looking for it, but he doesn't have a soul ring yet, he's got the mango though, he's trying to bait them in. It's like mango gaming, but on the other side, the ulti will come up, it's on top of cancel, are they going to get another kill? Cancel? Hello? Oh, no detection! No! Keanu comes back in. He's got the surprise. He's gonna hold on that necropose. Both need back in the fray. He's lost his mango. Ale, ale! Viva! Ale! Is that a second? Who just mango now? Oh, that's mad net mango. And then Omnisash is back up in four more seconds. Can they get Keanu? This is a greasy old fight. They got Keanu. They're gonna be looking for this Omni Slash here. He uses Spin though, so he's out of mana. They have no way to gain it back. Someone needs to mangle this Juggernaut. It is a brawl for the ages. Now Bo7, he's in trouble. He's trying to go to the high ground for the survival, but the Necrophos is gonna get the kill. What's happening? Oh, disaster. Disaster. The 3k stack, they're doing it. <laughs> what is... Matt is so low. He <laughs> can't fight. <laughs> oh, can you get the carrier? Nope. Alright, they did it! They got two towers, guys. Can't stop laughing. Can you imagine? Oh! Look at, look at this! Alright, it's it's two arcade boots for them. It's one for both me, but still. Like, we're stacking everything up here. They already have the ones on Necrophos. And Veno? What? Alright, they're just five man death balling for the win. Look at this. They have three pairs of our they have four pairs of arcane boots right now. What? Meanwhile, Cancel is just like taking a tier three though. And this is how you play this. I don't know if you guys have ever had to play against this kind of a lineup in a pub, but this is exactly what you do. You just go, you farm, you get your net worth, you lose some towers, and then when you finally fight 5v5 again, you just absolutely crush them. And I'm really not too fearful for the side of KP. Like, look at the net worth chat. They're still way ahead. I'm churching it up as if they're doing it, but they're not actually doing it. This is like the slowest rush ever. <laughs> They've already lost their Veto. Now the tombstone cancels just standing still. He's repelled, but he's actually gonna go down here. You only have brown boots and a null talisman cancel. I'm not sure if you check, buddy. Um, um, hello? Where's the other TPs? Did they cancel? 
Oh, all right, whatever. He gets a triple kill, but he doesn't go down. Blink from Bone 7 right on top. Cast to stun him up, and now the spin. Um, the heal? Still living, still living. Couple right clicks. There's the Omni. Goes down. Good old Omni Slash. All right. Well, they're managing to feed away a little bit their advantage. Just from the net worth chart. And despite all this pushing, like, look what Keanu did top lane. They've lost this full set. They've lost this full set. Keanu's just moving bottom now. He's just got his drums. Because he knows he's pushing uncontested. He's, like, basically playing a bot match right now. Where he's like, alright, if I'm up against just all bots that never contest me, what's the fastest way to push? And apparently, mathematically, it's going to be drums for him. Because that's all he cares about. And they can't do anything. They probably don't even have TP scrolls. They have, they have a Vendo TP scroll. They don't have one on the jug, though. I stand by what I said. Alright, well, the mechanism can now be purchased here for baby pickles. They go back in for the Rojan. It's like, tr joke's on you guys, we were just saving this for later. This looks like a level 1 Rosh attempt. Mad? Don't run into 5 heroes, Mad. I know you want to, but don't do it. Uh, I don't think it was kill. Alright, they're leaving. So they're gonna try and distract here while they're pushing top and mid. Let's see if Cancel goes up top, try and get a kill instead. Alright, he's just gonna push. Bone 7, gonna try and slow down the defenders. He's got the lasso ready. Maybe suck the trees for a bit. There's a the repel. We'll check out Cancel there. Scions up on top. There's a, they're dumping everything on top of this Necropost. He's the main target. They don't want to lose anyone because of there's the ulti from the Venom. Does head on to a couple. Bouncing through the cast. There's a buyback from the Necropost. Cancel. In a little bit of trouble in the middle lane here. They don't have any sentry, or uh, rather any dust. Just the sentry. There's the dust coming out. Now, can they get the kill? Not quite enough. Uh, another dust popping out. There's a flame break trying to push them away from Cancel. And he will go down there to the Juggernaut. And no permanent damage. They lost that tier 3, of course, but no lost racks. Just a little bit of damage on the top tower. Overall, though, I mean, they're up like 10k on the side of KP. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's just, uh, they tried this five-man strat, but they're not defending, like, against any of this. Now they've lost every single tower. Dyer's bottom and this is exactly what we're talking about. It's just, you know, you try this five-man death ball, but that's not going to work. That, that clown, it's not going to work against these boys. So now they're going to try themselves down the mid lane. Bone sevens up top. They must be dying in this game, honestly. It's pretty clowny. Drums, Necro. Necro 3 now done for the Invoker. Mad's just in here messing with them when they try and TP home. So this is Juggernaut with the Ages and Vlads. He's coming right in. He's got Omni Slash. He's ready to go. Oh, they lost the Courier. There's the Omni Slash. Slides on over to Bone 7. Might secure the skip for Keanu with those phase boots. The counter phase boots. Oh, the plays. That was like the hypest kill you're going to see. Looks like they just lost the Necrophos here too in the mid. At the same time. This is some good old gaming. So, Necro 3s are ready. The green line has been drawn by the Necrophos. Saying, go down mid. If only it was that easy, Necrophos. <laughs> if only it was that easy. Well. Go back to the waiting game. Just kinda chilling here, just waiting for a free kill. Essentially, what it's going to amount to. Oh, they have a name. Noxious Inter Intent. Noxious Intent. I gotta update this dream title, guys. Hold on, hold on. We gotta give these guys some love. Intent. Noxious Intent. They're a real team. Stream title updated. Yeah, I suppose I could just came down here. There you go. There's a nice little. Oh wow. What a fancy logo. 
Dun 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 dun. Uh oh, people are dying. Cancel, he gets killed. Just the Aegis for now. Gale does not connect on Keanu. Baby Pickles, the Necrophos is just annihilated. No Amisash here, but he might get cancelled again. There's the rep or the rather purification. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be close. Cancel. Living. Have more right clicks to finish him off there. Which doctor from the low ground helping out the undying as they get the kill and cancel. Buyback from the juggernaut, buffing healing himself over on the back lines. And now. In the bottom. Keanu just pushing away. I heard a look at it go. I guess they're gonna try this with the urn. It's gonna be close. Is there purification? There is, but the repel's still gonna last for a long ways. I think he's gonna have to like turn around and try and a double nuke, but with the healing board. Oh, he's gonna have time. Guardian, really? It doesn't even hit mad. Man, that range is small. Go over the Omni. Go over the greedy kill. Full greed, full greed! Gale! No, it's not there! He doesn't have it! Full greed! Oh, they got it! Greed pays off. Greed is good. It might secure Buffney's escape. This is the bottom lane. Looks like they're about to lasso up on top of that Necrophos. And in fact, they did. And he's just going to be dead. They're dragging to the side there. And he's just broke. Down he goes. What a game. So, Boots of Travel here. <laughs> Necro 3 for the Necro. Oh, thanks for posting the bracket. Much appreciated. Gotta wait for these creeps to show up and disable the back door, and they finally arrive. So here we go. One one rack's already down in the top lane. Keanu now coming at the exact same time top. This is nicely done. Just good old nature's profit strats here. Do whatever you want. Get the trees up and going. Bottom lane, you know. Cancelled, plus the ultimate can kill off the undying. So the Jaren, I'll try and go deal with him, but eh, all the summons. They're just going on top of everything. There's a dust. The cancel might die. And it's gonna be close. No maledict on top, though. Oh, he hasn't skilled it. Yeah, that's not that unusual. Let's go. Wait, what? Eight. I can count, right? Four, eight, nine. Level ten. No points and attributes? Question mark? Well. Might have been a good time for a maledict. Am I crazy? Am I miscounting or something? Nope, I'm really not. Anyway. Oh, hey, British. And down he will probably go. Yeah. Well. Is this, is this the run back, guys? Are they doing it? Game over? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if KP can finish it off, guys. Oh, did he? Oh, he did, too. He just, like, slapped him in the attributes. What a clown. Alright, Sprout and top. Man, it's Necrophos. He's getting all the hate this game. We do not like this hero. I mean, who does, really? Like, let's be honest. Right, Gale misses Necro. Yeah, that'll be okay. Man, they're also dropping pretty low. Oh, and Volker's got the sun. Oh, he actually TP'd and he didn't get the sun strike. <laughs> I'm like over here watching the back lines. Bone 7. Just gonna blaze off here. I can cancel. He's just completely ignoring the giant. <laughs> I'm surprised he only has three deaths. He's been playing pretty YOLO this game. He just like runs at them. Now from the undying, it looks like KP will secure themselves into the next round. Yeah, the bracket's actually five minutes ahead. I know. It's it's good spoilers, but it's fine. It's okay, guys. I think we'll I think we'll survive. Although, my my hopes are now dashed that it turns out Nox Intent don't make the comeback. I really thought they would. Ha! Huh. That's right, only only seven kills. And the GG well played comes up. Alright guys, we did it. 